Hello and welcome to LabVIEW exercises. In this exercise, we will see how we can programmatically save uh, the screenshot of a VI front panel or specific thing on the front panel. So let's just say if we are running this random number generator and we are getting these values on this chart. So if I run this program, it will create a random numbers, uh, random numbers chart. But if I just go to my uh, specific folder and if I just open it with my paint function, paint application, then it will show me the screenshot of the particular graph generated. So right now if I close it, and then let's just go back to our uh, VI and then just open it a new VI so that we can see how this program works. So let's just go to waveform chart function and then let's just uh, drag it in here and then let's just go back to its block diagram. And here what we can do is we can use a for loop. It is just an example in here. We can use a hundred uh, count so that it will run 99 times 0 to 99 so that it will generate a random number generator in here and then what we need is it will be just given to the waveform chart we can use the invoke nodes to create its um, the uh, to, uh, to basically get the screenshot out of it so let's just get the get image and then what we need to do is we will just give this image to build a path and the next thing is we will go to sound and graphics and there we will find out a right jpeg file and there we will give the path in here but first we must have to set the path so right now i am just going to my folder again and i can see go to its properties i can find out the location in here i will just copy this location and go back again and place that in here and i must also have to set the name of the file as well so for that purpose what i can do is i can just randomly i can also give it a random name or we can also set it programmatically so i'll just go to number two string function here i'll place it outside because unfortunately i must have to place it outside otherwise it will create a hundred images uh, or the screenshots of this waveform chart so i'll just click it in here and then i must have to remove this tunnel mode to last value and then i can just give it to the name function so that will be the name is given right now so yeah this is the jpeg file generator and this is the image data that it will be given to it so right now if i just run my program again so this is the number generated. I can run it multiple times, like three or four times. And right now, if I just go back to my pictures functions, here you can see if I have multiple turns I have generated. So if I just open any of it with the pin function, as you can see in here, the basically the chart, uh, waveform chart is saved. We can also use the screenshot of the whole uh, front panel as well. We just go to our back to our uh, function in here and we can use again an invoke node. So going to application invoke node in here and we can instead of getting this uh, invoke node from there we can again uh, use vi reference and then we can use application control and then we go to invoke node and 
and then that's how we will connect it and right now when this program ends then it will see the whole picture of the front panel not just only the waveform chart if i just place anything in here it will also be included into the front panel so that all the conditions will be saved of, of from the front panel as well so again if i just run my program again as you can see so this will be just saved in here so right now again if i open it with my paint function you can see in here the boolean with the condition is also saved as a screenshot